Howdy y'all. Howdy y'all. Happy Sunday. How you guys doing? Um, I want to get a little things done today. But, let me get a light on here. There's not, not enough light. There we go. Much better light. Uh, I could do a slight little recap of what's been going on here. Because I did have to do some work while we weren't on stream. But, I want to show you some things. Is that one? So, we're getting it a lot better. It's a lot cleaner than it was. Brent's been working on cleaning it. He still has to work in this middle bit, middle section, but I also have to take the pop bumpers off. Um, but let's go over a couple of things. He's working on the plastics right now too. He's gonna take those home. Let's go to these rollovers. And you can see them right here. So we have five rollovers, or one, two, three, four, five. There's five uh, lane guides that go on these things. And, oh my gosh, out of the all five of these, only one was set up correctly. The rest, see if I can show you on the pictures that I took before I took it apart, it was god awful. Um, let's see. So here is, oops, there's the first one right there. See how it's at an angle? It's not the first one in the lineup, but that's the first one I noticed because it's at an angle. The reason that that's at an angle is because they put a wood screw in the space where a machined screw should go. And then they put... Uh, a post screw back where the, the wood screw should go. So I have to take that out, fill in the hole, this extra hole that they did. There's also a T-nut missing down here. I got to put a T-nut in there. And then we got to put the proper uh, wood screw in the back. So any of these on here, when it's a high impact area, a place that's probably going to get hit a lot, it's going to go through the play field into a bolt or a T-nut. If it's something that may not get a lot of impact, slow hitting, it's just going to be a wood screw that just goes right into the wood. So, all these ones in the front should be machine screws. And, not, and only one, one was set up the right way. This one over here had a machine screw in the front. Hi. Oh man, what are we doing to, to Sorcerer today? We're going to be doing the MPU in here in a minute. Um... So this one had a machine screw in the front, and then they put a machine screw in the back, which machine screws do not like to go into wood. So they wallowed out this hole, so I had to fill in this hole, and I'm going to put the right screws in there. But literally, all five of these, only one of them was set up properly with a machine screw in the front and a wood screw in the back. I have to fix all of that, but we're waiting for the lane guys to come in because I had to order them. That happened there. Um, we have... The center, I got to clean all these targets off, take all these stickers off. These two have to be readjusted properly. They're not in the right positions. Um, not to mention the bands were wrong. Brent's redoing that as he's cleaning. Um, and then I got I to get into the pop bumpers. But what else did I do while I was off stream? Freaking love this pin. All right, this is where we're going to be, end up going. Is that true for rollover guides in general? Pretty much. Maybe not in electromechanical, but in uh, solid state, anything, yeah, anything that uh, is going to get impacted hard on any part of the play field is going to have a machine screw to hit. So uh, let's say, for instance, like these screws right here, in the center, they're probably wood screws. I haven't taken them apart, but they're probably wood screws because there's no high impact going on here. These ones are going to be machine screws because there's a high impact. Any area where there's a high impact. This one back here on the slingshot, probably a wood screw. These ones are machine screws. It's, it's pretty obvious. And then as it looks, if it's done right, it should be obvious how they should be set up. 
machine screws in the front, wood screws in the back, and it should look. That's actually really good to know because I'm replacing some today. Good. And you could tell where they go in general too, is that the machine screw hole will be nice and flat and very well defined because they drilled it out in the manufacturing. And the wood screw hole will have a little bit of raised wood because obviously the, the wood screw push through the wood and come up a little bit. So you can tell where they're naturally supposed to be. But uh, yeah, machine screws for high impact areas, post and stuff, either they go into a T-nut and uh, either they go into a T-nut or they go into a bolt or a, a, a regular nut. So yeah, that's just kind of rule of thumb. There may be some weird off one where they didn't do that, but electromechanicals, there's a lot of electromechanicals that are just wood screws. So don't, don't take that advice for electromechanicals. Okay, so what we're doing here, I'm going to try to swing this around, show you what I've done, and then uh, 632 on the machine screw, yes. At least for this machine, yes, 632. All right, what I have done so far in the back box is I have recapped the power supply. I recapped this and pulled it off and uh, reflowed the solder. And I'll show you because uh, the guy who owns this wouldn't, wouldn't get it, but I will show you what it means to reflow the solder here. All right, I got pictures. Assume that the T-nuts hold up to impact better than straight wood screws. Yes, T-nuts do hold up better. All right, let's get the camera back up here. So this is the back. Blackout is the one you're working on today? Nice. This is the back of the power supply. So this is why you got to reflow the solder. This is what this one looked like. If you can tell, like let's see if one is good on here. So maybe this one here at the bottom Mismatched broken rollover guides. Yeah, just buy new rollover guides. This one is flowed properly. This this pin right here. This one's got a crack in it. That one's got a crack in it. You know, it's just all that. So I cleaned up all that stuff and uh, reflowed all that solder on that one. I also did the board below, which I'll just show you real quick. This is again for people who don't know what a cold solder is or a uh, bad solder joint. So these ones are, you have guides, cool. These ones are fine. These are flowed pretty good, but then we get to this one at the end. See how bad that is? That is, has to be fixed. Even though the game was working, that has to be fixed. So that's why you gotta take the boards off. That's what I'm gonna do today on the big one. So I've done this board, and I've done that. And you're in the process of looking for any jank. Oh yeah, oh, I hate janky stuff. That's what this thing's got. Crazy jank, janky jank. All right, I did this board, and I did this board. We're gonna take this board off, and we're going to do the remote battery too, okay? Um, this is a system nine. We did a system seven, and we done a system 11, this is a system nine. So we'll do the remote battery pack. Yes, there's the end, end RAM or whatever, all that and oh, not my machine. We're just doing a remote battery pack. We're not doing any chips or anything like that. And then we're gonna reflow the solder, okay? That's, that's at least what I wanna try to do. And then clean up the board too. Anything that's got a bunch of dust on it, clean that off. Oh, the other thing I did up here, really simple. Here's the knocker right there. This was dry rotted out completely. I just replaced the grommet on here and then the plastic piece that comes through the plunger was loose so I glued that back in so the knocker works properly. Left sling, sling plastic was just black. You just took it off and flipped it over. It's actually a right sling plastic from a flash along with the blonde. Oh my gosh. She spooked you. I hate when they do this crazy janky stuff. Either get the right parts or uh, it's like, uh, I don't know. But this is, all this, this is all the stuff we're trying to fix in this. All the crappy janky crap and then get it to work properly. All right. So I'm going to take a really good picture of that so I know where all the wires go. It should be obvious. Oh, there's also a part here where there's some electrical tape on the wires. So we need to figure out what's going on there. I might have to repin 
this uh, connector over here. We'll figure that out when I get there. But for now, I want to get some freaking pictures so I don't forget where these wires go. Even though it is usually obvious. Get over there. Get down here. Over there. Over there. And then just like that. Thank you. Lockdown bar also shakes er shocks every once in a while. Wait, what? Lockdown bar shocks every once in a while? Uh, no, you got to fix that ground if it's shocking. That should not be a thing. Do not find out where your ground problem is. Might have to repin this one too. This one's got that goo. Are you pulling off the battery pack? Yes, I am. We were very lucky with this machine. It had batteries in it for the last 20 years and they didn't leak, which was amazing. And they actually still had a charge in them, which was super amazing. 20 year old batteries with a charge in them that did not leak. Crazy, crazy. All right. This one just pull out. No. Pull that out. It's not mine, you're shopping it for someone else. Yeah, that's what I'm doing too. I don't like doing other people's work, other people's machines, because I have 40 machines that I gotta redo of my own. Almost done, but definitely gonna have to redo the ground braid. Yep. That's my first step on all these machines. Make sure the power and ground is secure before I start doing anything. Shopping other people's stuff they don't realize how expensive it is plus i got so many more machines i gotta do we gotta do stargate we gotta finish high speed we gotta do superman we gotta do haunted house we gotta do star trek but this one i just want to get it done and get it out oh come on dude thank you <sighs> just picked up a system 11 game with brand new fresh duracells and I'm still paranoid. <laughs> yeah, just get them out. Luckily, our high speed already had a uh, remote board on it. Uh, there we go. Is that all of them? Now, I want to see this real quick. This is where I got some freaking... I don't know what's going on there. I actually finished a project. I finished my own projects too. I don't know if you can see back in here. Eh. We got two wires. I think that what they tried to do was uh, find another connector, but instead of soldering them on connect correctly, they just kind of electrical taped it together. So I'm going to have to fix this connector before we put it back together. If anything, I'll just, there's enough wire there, I'm just going to repin it. Alright, here we go. Let's just get all this crap out. Screwdrivers. Where's my screwdriver? How good does the wizard art look on the playfield? No, the playfield looks great on this one. Well, I get a screwdriver, you can look at it. There you go. Um, one of the things, the back glass is beautiful too. One of the things I was looking at on the internet is that there's different color variations for the art. Like there's a purple and a pink cape. And then there's white and red feathers. And the two that I saw, the two variations that I saw on uh, the, the database... The, the database was that there was the blue with the red, but the skulls were white and red. Or there was the purple with the pink, and the skulls were green and red. And I think, I think that this is a third variation. I'm going to have to take some good solid pictures of this before I send it back. But I think this is a third variation of, uh, of 
of uh, uh, the art. I'm going to have to make sure. Yeah, all the inserts are fine. Not my problem. We're not doing all that. All right, let me get a screwdriver here. All right, moving the game. Got to reach my screwdrivers. Do, do, do. Okay. Back up here. So yeah, maybe, maybe a third version. Good morning, Arcade Dungeon. I'm enjoying this rehab. Thank you so much. Is this, are you, are you who I think you are? Okay, this guy left Sorcerer more than me. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that this guy is the guy that I'm working on the Sorcerer for. This is what, this is my feeling. Uh, da, 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 da. So hats off, yeah. All right. There's a lot of these screws aren't here. Mark Ritchie? No. I have my suspicions because uh, I got a text, a random, oh wow, there's only three screws in this in the whole thing. I'm going to have to add more screws to this. Only three screws holding this whole thing on. That's bad for grounding purposes. You need to have more screws in here. We'll fix that. More screws. More screws missing, yep. Come here, buddy. All right, so we're going to take this over to the uh, table, and we'll check it out over there. And let me make sure, because these... I have more of these screws, so... You at least have to get... You know, you only have three. We, we want to get some on the corners. Just better grounding to have at least a couple more screws. We don't have to fill all the holes. But a couple more screws. I think I'm turning this the wrong way. Excuse me while well, I spin this way. <laughs> Batman vision. There we go. There we go. All right. Now, this is going to require me to get my magnifying glass. Uh, we have our remote battery pack thing. Throw that over there. Thank you. I have a bucket of parts that I've already gotten. So here's our remote battery pack. We're gonna make the cord long enough so it just sits at the bottom of the uh, back box. Oh, but yeah. And then I can just look at this computer when I need to see you guys talking to me. And let's see, we got solder, we got that. Guess we can take the batteries out. I hate these battery connectors anyway. Oh, hold on. Give me that out. Yeah. I knew it was you. All right. I don't like these. These I have these stupid battery packs in... Uh, some video games too and they're annoying as hell because they're they hold the batteries really good but they're annoying all right so we're gonna find all the bad solder points there you we're gonna remove this pack that's the main thing is to remove this battery pack all right And then we'll just do back here. So things on the back, which you can tell it's a little dark right here. That's normal. You got resistors and stuff going on right there. It's no big deal. The game is functioning, so that's no big deal. So I'm going to look at all of these connections all around here and check for cold solder. And I guarantee I'm going to find some. But then we're going to just tap that all up. What's going on over here? What is that? Got a heat sink that's not 
that has not been soldered on. You're going to see if you can see, see what I'm talking about here. There's this heat sink that has not been soldered in. It's just, uh, it's just there. Okay. I don't think that's the way it was in the factory. Maybe somebody replaced that. Weird. All right, soldering iron. Soldering iron is on. Uh, got solder. I got a wet sponge. Green Mile told us that the sponge needs to be wet. All right, I want to get this guy off of here. See if I can do it without being a pain in the butt. Um, I might just clip it. Yeah, let's just clip it off. And then every one of these has a different place to uh, put the wires. Oh, I can't reach that one. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's the end of that. Get rid of some of these excess metally pieces. Oh, look, there's little cherries in here. Oh, they got hidden cherries. I like hidden stuff. It's a little cherry symbol. All right, now. Let me verify it. Well, I could we can just take the solder off and see if we can get, get some of these pins out first. Maybe, maybe not. So I think I gotta go this one and this one. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. I need this guy. Cutting it off is uh, just a quicker way to get to that point. Don't lock up on me now. There we go. I think those are the right two. I'm going to verify with the... Uh, the intro net, because I want to make sure I got the right ones. Intro net. Come here, you. There we go. System 9. On the System 9, solder the black cables, ground black wire to the bottom left pad, and the positive to the top right pad. So... If we're flipped over this way, which we are, are you a pointy solder guy or I'm a pointy solder guy or a chisel tip guy? Uh, pointy. There has been an occasion where I've used the chisel one because it, it heats up a lot more and I can get things off quicker. But but yeah, I like I like the the pointy, the pointy end. So this is it. Negative here, positive here. Okay. And then we're going to use our favorite bit of wiring. This is our excess donated wire from the high speeds remote battery cable that went 10 feet long. The 10 foot remote battery pack, which was completely ridiculous. So we're going to take a couple of inches off of this, maybe a little bit longer, just so we have enough space. And then uh, solder it in. And then we'll solder the connections onto this guy. You know, easy peasy. And then we'll check the voltage. And then we'll get all those little soldering points and we'll see where we're at from that because I have a, an appointment at two o'clock. So see where I'm going. We got a bunch of the stuff on the bottom of the play field to go through. I'm waiting on uh, 
There's the uh, the ball uh, out hole trigger switch. I've ordered that, and hopefully that should come in this week. And my biggest thing that's really weird is, so the metal piece on the, what's my preferred temperature? Uh, 680 unless I'm mad, and then I go all the way up to 842 uh, Fahrenheit. Um, the metal piece that's on the out hole, uh, the metal piece that's on the out hole thing is broken off of the switch, but it's not in the cabinet, which is always weird. Like, how, how, you can't play the game without that, so where did it go? Like, I searched the cabinet for it, it's not there. It's so weird. So when that switch comes in, the game will be able to play. Just love how everyone has a specific soldering preferences. Yeah. It comes from years and years of recapping monitors and getting annoyed. I don't know if this is going to fit in the hole. It's kind of big. Oh, huh. you can come out of there. All right, so we're going to use the red one. 840 is an electronic temp, it's stabbing temp. Yeah, I only, I'll use 840 when there's no uh, components nearby. That'll be all upset by me using such a hot temperature. All right. So we're just going to send this guy through here, hopefully. We'll bend it a little bit so it's not falling out while I flip this over. Go. And then solder this bad boy in. Hello. There we go. 700 across the board. Did you find enough time to record a video of the Metal Maniacs arcade game? In a track mode game? No, we're not doing a Metal Maniacs right now. We have a prototype game called Metal Maniacs. There was only 10 made, only five in existence. And there's a guy that's uh, been trying to get me to send a video of the attract mode. I'm like, dude, it's in the back. I'm busy. Maybe one day I'll do it. I don't know. Fiddling with it has never improved anything. You know, fiddling with the, uh, the temperature makes me feel better. When I get mad, I'm like, oh, it's just... Just go already. Especially when you get some of those boards that have a really big fat trace that just absorbs all that heat and nothing is happening. Oh, I hate that so much. That's biggest problem was on a power supply for Frogger. Such a huge fat trace that just ate up all of the, the heat. It was taking forever. Sometimes there's, there's a blob that won't melt. Yep, exactly. There is occasion. Not often, but there is occasion. All right. I'm also going to trim a little bit here because I don't want it to do that. What is that? Just crank it up and jab it there like... Qui-Gon Jinn sticking a lightsaber through a steel door. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's a great analogy. There we go. Let's get all that off. Come here, you. Oh, come on. I just don't want all this excess wire in the way. All right. That's not very hard to do right there. Now, of course, we're jumping down to uh, a lot thinner wires, but that's okay. 
I'm also not very good at soldering. Yeah, takes some time to get, get the hang of it, get the practice of it. This stuff right here is the easy stuff. Getting in those tiny little spaces. That's the big pain in the butt. All right. Question is, how do I want to do this? All right, I did that side. So we got our little battery pack here. Positive, positive to positive, negative to negative. I guess that's the common consensus. Did I need to put really big ass thick wire right here? No, but. You know, lack of the gift of, I don't know, can we least do it. Alright, I'm going to, oh wait, that's what I want. Let's just do heat shrink. Heat shrink would be better. Do I have heat shrink? Solder is serviceable. Not in that one. Where's my other heat shrink thing? heat shrink kit we've got the right size one that I want we'll just heat shrink that bad boy your solder is serviceable yeah this will work this will work. Come here, you. Come here, you. Let's get this on here. Maybe that's not big enough. Maybe I should just not be using big 16 gauge wire. Because why not? I've got the space. Strip, strip. Again, we're stripping. All right. I'll get this out of the way so I can get a place to solder without accidentally causing a problem here. They say you could also you should also do if you're going to do a battery pack to uh, put a connector on it. It's probably a good idea. Am I doing that? No, I think we'll be fine. We're not going to let the batteries get the way they were, are we? Sorcerer fan. some hotness probably put this in a crimp or a clamp it would be a little bit easier and we're not breathing the solder we don't breathe the solder here uh, what is that sorcerer or road kings personal preference I can't give you that because I haven't played either one I'll play sorcerer when I'm done and I haven't played Road Kings. 
as much as I do this and as good as I'm getting at it, I haven't had interactions with all of them yet, or a lot of them. I have played a few, but uh, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll be able to play the Road Kings. But not this day. Not this day. Slaughter. What do you think? What do you like better, Road Kings or Sorcerer? See if I can get my torch. It's not going to, uh, not going to completely hug it, but whatever. We'll have much more TLC after seeing and understanding this. Thank you. All games deserve to live. Does it work? Well, let's find out. Let's back this up a little bit. Get our batteries. Wait, what's that? What's that? What's that? I missed it. Oh, do you think all the super old school guys like Tim Arnold have a secret stash of lead core solder that's just stashed in the basement some kind of electronics doom day pre prepper <laughs> i would hope not just don't just don't breathe it tom arnold i think you're referring to tom arnold right right yeah clot paused i got paused over there i don't want to pause come here Get over there. All right. Battery. Plus and minus. Pretty obvious. Should be the same. And all battery packs. That one. Negative. And then positive. All right. So now. Tom Arnold is the actor. Oh, Tim Arnold. He's breathed a cloud or two of lead. Oh. Yeah, no. All right, where is my meter? Uh, we'll set this to battery. I'm going to know that. Uh, come here, you. Should be working if I can touch a part that's not where I soldered from. Well, let's do red and red and black and black. So that there to this here. Looks like we have 4.86 volts going through here. So that means I got it. Snip the bleed off your probe. All right, so we have current going to parts where I didn't just mess with it. That means it's good. So now, now I just got to check for all these little cracked solder points. Uh, which means I need Mr. Magnifying Glass. And, oh, and I'm going to solder in that heat sink that was not soldered in. Come here, you. All right. 
fix it, but testing continuity. Or you know, what was that? Oh, battery pack on here. I need my headlamp. Where is my headlamp? There it is. Obviously, I'm going to touch up all of this, but I want to look first. Good, good, good. Good, good. That's good. Where are you? These are actually not bad. I say that, and then I'll get to one that is. Side now, we're gonna get a go. Remarkably, not anywhere near as much as I thought it would be. Oh, there we go. There's one there. Yeah, it's not too bad. Before we go and put this back in too, we're going to uh, we're going to figure out what's going on with those wires up there. All right, I need to get this one in. Why would you put heat heat? shield in without sealing it. How is it supposed to dissipate the heat? It's all about holding your breath. I got a fan, but that fan's too loud right now. Here we go. All right, that feels better. All right, now do a touch up around the board here. Uh, I'll try to keep my tip cleaned off a little bit while I do this. There's one way of it, like you're supposed to just completely take off the whole old solder and uh, put on new solder, but as long as it's flowing and gripping on both pieces, I don't think I've ever had a problem. And it's a lot quicker. You also don't want to change the position of your pins. You want to do it as fast as possible. Also, another reason I like a higher temperature, just get it on, get it done. Yeah. Hold on, just a second. Can lock, yes, sir. Right back, guys. Here you go.
on your plate. Yeah. So right now I'm streaming on the internet what? so people can watch me. That's a good looking one. They are. They're all beautiful. We, we just cleaned them up recently too. They are all beautiful. Do you get any uh, good reactions on them uh, for because yeah. they look good? Like, do you do it? Uh, put them online um, or anything? Uh, well, I, I like right now I'm streaming to the internet me repairing. Um, but people here that play, they're just playing them. They don't realize how much work we put into them, how clean, and how beautiful we make them. But have you shown them, shown it to the people on uh, online? Oh yeah, people have seen our collection. And what we do, and basically what I'm doing, like what I'm doing right now, is I'm streaming Stern repairs. Stern is coming out with some new ones. They do. They release at least three a year. Yeah. They're coming out with uh, Metallica? That was a few years ago. The newest one is Rush. Rush is the one they just yeah, announced. Yeah, Rush. Yeah. And they're, they're going to have some more yep. coming out. Yep, they keep going and going. Uh, they, they, to do with the old bands like that. Yeah, they've had Led Zeppelin, and we have Iron Maiden here. And yeah. But they're coming out with some more. They Did do. you know there's a Comic Con in Albuquerque this weekend? There is, there's probably Comic Cons everywhere, but we only go to the uh, the main one. Yeah, same It's too much, yeah. So, anyway. Uh, thanks for opening that. Sure. If there's anything you need tool wise, you let me know. Sure, no problem. I appreciate it, and I appreciate the tools that you've given me so far. I've, I've, I've used stuff, especially the coin counters and stuff like that. That coin counter, the only one, the only tubes I don't have for that is the penny one. Yeah, well, I only need the quarter one, so it really yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, but I, I got the other one out there, but I don't have the penny one. I'll find it one of these days. Okay. Because I know you got to do some pennies. Yeah, no. <laughs> Because I know what Brent's doing to those. Oh, well, those kind of pennies, yeah. All right. Oscilloscope. Iron Maiden is excellent. Well, you say it's excellent. They're, they're talking to me on the internet right now. Okay. Um, and a logic probe. I have a logic probe. I don't need a logic probe. Okay. So, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, whatever you if, you... if there's something you need, though, let me know. That okay. uh, rack for cans would fit... Right there in that bathroom. We have this little uh, bathroom closet yeah. thing that Brent's going to start using. We're probably going to hang it up in there. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. We'll see you later. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. He's offering me tools. Yes. Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish heating this thing up. Send you the old one? No. Uh, yeah, not so much. But anyway, let's finish this, this little bit here. Yeah, so that, that is the, the owner of the restaurant. Um. He's still in here though, right now. So, second. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, don't breathe this stuff. This is not the stuff that you want to be breathing. There we go. Something to be said for a really hot one. Okay, he's out. So, yeah, so that's the owner of the restaurant. He barely. He rarely comes by, and he never comes in here. So that's actually kind of weird, but he needed a little bit of help, and you just kind of appease him. He's a, he's getting on in age. He doesn't really do a lot for the restaurant anymore. He just kind of comes in and fiddles around. But you just try to treat him nice. And yeah, he would buy me all sorts of tools, but a lot of times he'll buy me... Uh, or he'll give me some old tool that doesn't quite work right. Pinball guy is super good. Give him a raise. Oh, they treat me really well here. I don't need a raise. But, uh... Yeah, he's... He's a character. I was very careful. I was hoping he... 
we're lucky that he didn't uh, say something that he shouldn't have said over the internet. <laughs> That's why I kept trying to say, we're on the internet right now. Um, but yeah, he's all right. He's just, you know, he's that era, that kind of gruff. You got to you gotta know him to get him. All right. And buy him a new Logic Pro. No. Oh, that's freaking sponge is hissing at me. Like solder, there's some solder on that sponge that's just hissing. All right, so once I get this done, I'll check the wires and repin that uh, connector. And then uh, we'll put this back in and we'll see where we're at. Who created the garbage barge? Uh, that would, he would say that, uh, the garbage barge is a pizza, by the way, for everybody else who doesn't know. He would say that he created it, and I've heard other people say that they created it. But, either way, it's a very popular pizza. It's very popular, but very pain in the butt to make, basically. It's a novelty kind of pizza. But yeah, he probably did, I don't know. The, there's conflicting stories. They're really, it's it's really weird about the restaurant because I've asked him for, uh, well, water doesn't boil it. Okay, so uh, I've asked him about uh, pictures and memorabilia from when the restaurant first opened because this is our 50th year, and they don't have anything. They don't have pictures. They didn't care to take pictures back when they opened their restaurant. I'm like, what? You open a brand new restaurant and you're not going to take any pictures? Because that'd be very helpful 50 years later when I needed them. But, oh well. It's good. People like us. Alright. So yeah, this would go very quickly because... I, I do have it really hot. But now that I've put new batteries in it, I probably have to reset everything to get the game to come on again. He doesn't even have a first dollar in a frame. Nope, didn't do any of that stuff. I had to, I found one picture of the original restaurant in the newspaper, but I could from like the 70s, but I couldn't get him to give me anything else. I'm like, just anything? Nope. For a guy that hoards a bunch of stuff, you'd think he'd have that, but no. Doesn't care. Obviously, when you're doing all this solder stuff, be very careful not to create a solder bridge. Get back on the topic of soldering here. I thought it was mandatory for independent restaurants. Something written, highlighter, taped, and back of register since the 70s. Maybe a bowl of mints. No, our, our place is nice and clean. We recently remodeled during the pandemic, and we've, we've made it pretty classy. Brent, who is his son, he's the other guy that helps me with the arcade. And uh, we run the restaurant together. And we've been doing so for over 20 years, just the two of us. Running restaurant and working on arcade games. That's what we do. And then he also does a, a haunted village in Cloudcroft. And I do uh, graphic design work and stuff. Lots of projects, lots of things. Pro tip from somebody who does it constantly. If you do create a solder bridge, Yeah, don't create a solder bridge. That's bad. All right, we're almost here. Almost there. Woohoo, life is great. Yeah, it is. We're going to get your game done for you, Sorcerer fan. It's going to be butamous. 
assuming I don't run into any more weird things that I'm not prepared for. But I'll get it. I'll get it. There we go. Can't help it, your handshake. Well, yeah, that might be a little bit of a problem when creating this auto bridge. I my handshake a little bit too, but not when I'm uh, doing this. Gotten good at cleaning up after yourself. You know, just try not to put too much solder. Watch what you're doing. These things right here, just doing a pin connector. That's fairly easy. Alright, here we go. Come on. We're almost done. We're almost done. Come on, I gotta fix that stupid thing. Hey, solder's getting a little hot on my finger. It's weird, heat seems to travel up the solder just as well. Also, does this feel equivalent to having a customer stand over your shoulder watching your work? Oh, this right now? I don't care, this is what I, I, I wouldn't be streaming this if I didn't want people to watch me do it. I'm fairly confident in what I'm doing. If people can offer advice or learn something, either way, it's a good skill to know if you've got pinball machines or arcade games. All right. There we go. I think this is my last little bit. Last little bit. there. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. okay, there's that. There's that. We're just going to set that there for now. And then, also you say you're in New Mexico, Arizona. New Mexico. We are in southern New Mexico. Is it cold? Um, not really. We actually haven't really had anything hard this winter yet, anyway. So, let me get my wires before I disconnect myself. Oh, it's on top of the microphone. That happens all the time! Yeah, we've missed out on winter so far. We haven't had any snow or anything, so whatever. Okay, here we go. Let's go back to this guy. Figure out what's going on here. All right, I'm gonna take this off. This is not a solution, by the way, guys. This is not how you do it. Did he at least solder it? Oh, he did solder it. Soldered on there. What was that? That's too much for my computer to scan. Also, another pro tip, if you have an old soldering iron, you can buy uh, welding solder at Home Depot Spot Fix Welding Welds without having to actually know how to weld. Don't use it on your good iron, though. Oh, that might be a good skill to know, spot welding. We got a broken piece down here that might need, we're going to put a JB weld on it because it's not a critical piece, but it is broken, and I don't know how, but it's broken. All right. So, 
Come here, you. We don't want this. Get off. That. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to make sure that it fits. Well, first I'm going to take off this little piece of uh, uh, freaking zip tie so I can get some more slack. Okay. There we go. Now, let's see what I have in the way of Molex connectors. Has my tool in here? Yes. Okay. Three times the day I'm gonna need to fire start doing anything with it, but it works surprisingly well. Okay. Um so I need a just a little two. There's a little two. Two right there. Let's make sure it fits. Where's my camera? Make sure it fits where it goes. Right here at the end of J19. This way. Alright. You also gotta make sure you do the connection the right way. Let's go over this way where I'll be. Da 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 This might be a little awkward because I don't have a lot of driving room. Alright, so. Make sure to put the right one on top. Very underrated tool in the toolbox. So purple. Purple goes on the bottom. And blue goes on the top. Okay. Now. I'm just going to cut this off. Blue on top. Purple on bottom. There we go. Starting from scratch. Make sure my orientation's right again. Yep. I need a hammer. If I had a hammer, I'd do this the right way. Purple? Sometimes, you know, the, uh, the, the comments come in a little late, so I get a little confused about what we're talking about here. Okay. I got my hammer. I got my thingy. So, blue on top. Go. And then that there. We'll use the back box as leverage, hopefully. Like I got a good bite, maybe? Yes? Got a good bite? I had the extra light hanging off the end. Yeah, you can do that too. 
but right now I got a good solid pack. So, okay. Instead of ordering right with number, don't lie, you're on the internet. I'm not lying. I'm lying, I'm dying, man. Stay there. Just a little bit here. Here we go. We good? We good? Yes. Uh, maybe. Not quite. Not not exactly how I like it. Not exactly how I like it. There we go. That makes me feel better. That makes me feel like people like me. Such a sin of lying. All right. Do people normally hammer that tool? I do. Make sure it's nice and secure. I'm supposed to? I think you're supposed to hammer it. Does it say it on the instructions? Firmly tap the tool. Until the top, yeah. Yes, you hammer with it. Okay, I can put it back together though. Bum, ba, da, bum, ba, da. Let me grab some extra screws. There's one. Thought I had another one in here. Oh wait, I've got a pile of just screws that fell out of this thing, so maybe I got one in here. Yep, there's two in here. One, two. Okay. Now we can put all our screws back in. Serious question, I've never hammered it or seen it hammered. Yeah, I, I hammer it. What are you gonna tap it with your fist? Back it up, back it up. Wee, 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 wee. All right, let me get at least the screw started here. Ow. Ow. Just seems like it would split the connector. There's a difference between hammering and tapping. I mean, I was tapping with style. Get one screw in here so I can let it go. There we go. Change the angle so I don't block the camera so much. There's an art to the hammering. Absolutely, there's an art. Make sure you got nothing. You don't have one of your connectors behind the thing. Pull that out, that out, that out. Those are out. That one's out. All right. 
Now we get to put some more screws in there. More than it's had in a long time. Okay, one in this corner. And in this corner. One in this corner. There we go. Get some better uh, contacts on this ground. The grounding backing, anyway. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. go. This is pre-11, yeah, this is 9. This is uh, System 9. That one, I'm not gonna be able to get that corner over there, so we're just gonna put it over here. Call it good. All right, let's see. Let's put this battery pack in here on the floor. Start reconnecting this stuff. Make sure we're doing it right. Oh, yeah, I should have kind of wiped that off, but I didn't. We'll verify before we try to turn anything on that we've wired this back in correctly. Are we going to see it boot? Well, that's the idea, right? It may not, it may not come on right away because you have to go through the factory settings because it's, you know, obviously technically a new battery. Make sure you're not one pin off. Put exactly the right spacing. Have I accidentally been one pin off? Yes. I need to boogie, but I'm sticking around until it boots. Okay, well, I'll, I'll give you here just a second. Let me just verify that I put all the pins in correctly. And then we'll do it. This one there, this one there, oh, I'm moving, this one up there, this one, this is our new one, blue on top, purple on the bottom, there, and there, all right, let me grab a phone so I can make sure my pictures are good. We have bop 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 blue one whoops blue one black one purple gray white empty blue yellow Red, that one, blue, those, those. Cool. Put the back glass back in before you turn it on. Uh, I can't. Besides, yes, we're not doing that. Besides, the back glass is being uh, clear coated right now, so it'd be safe. But I'm going to set the play field back down a little bit. So we don't accidentally do something there. Okay. Now, maybe do this camera, strain it up a little bit, or a guaranteed inexplicable failure. 
Yeah. All right, guys. Let's see if we did it. Plugging it back in. Remember, I might have to go through a reset. All right, let me go through the, the motions here. I think I gotta go to like 50. What is that? What is that? Sounds like it booted up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, now we're going to be like, no more battery acid damage or potential. Light that up right there. Nice. There it is. Okay, so we got to finish cleaning. Brent's going to finish cleaning and waxing the play field. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm going to, I'm going to do all the pop bumpers, the flippers, all that kind of stuff. So server, nice, nice, nice. Okay. That's all reflowed now. So everything in the back box is done. So we are done with back here, unless something else happens that I don't know about, but it's getting there, getting good. It's going to be beautiful. Sorcerer fan, you are going to love the baby. It'll be so beautiful, you're, you're going to show it off, but you better keep playing her. You're not allowed to stop playing her ever again. All right, so a lot of more cleaning, a lot of that kind of stuff to do, but hey, what was that, hour and 18 minutes? That's not pretty bad with a little distraction to get that done. What did that say? Cool, cool, cool. You will and you will. Okay, cool. Um, tell the restaurant owner that, I, that the internet gave you an A plus at fixing pinball today. Aw, he won't understand what that means, but thank you, that. Well, I think that's going to be it for this morning. I'm going to take the afternoon off, bring it to T. Uh, you're going to have to ask Sorcerer Fan about that, because that's his game. It's just his game. Um, but one day I'll be bringing a, thank you, I'll be bringing uh, my own pinball machines. That's it. I'll be back to maybe tomorrow, tonight, maybe tomorrow, probably tomorrow. But uh, thank you guys. Thanks for hanging out in Sanity Falls. Sorts of fan. Watching the progress on your own machine. That's good. Thank you. We'll keep going. Have a good day, everyone. Good afternoon. Enjoy yourselves. Peace out. Enjoy your Sunday. We'll see you guys later.